y'all know who Danny Seau is? He's on the Steve Harvey show. He does a... Uh, mm-hmm. He has a TV show on NBC called Naturally, I guess. Yeah. He posted one of my pots on Instagram yesterday. He bought when he was here. All right, here we go. I want that sitting still, just like that right there. And that's centered, okay? I'm going to lay that down with water, just like that. Now I've got to open that up. Push down into that and stop about that part for the bottom. I won't do that because if I do, I'm going to leak in the bottom. Right? Okay. So right there's the center. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Right there, okay. Look at that. Now I'm going to take my needle tool and I'll try to pull the bottom in. Okay. Down there. Okay. Now I'm going to take my needle tool and I'll try to pull the bottom in. So now, I'm just going to take some of that away. It's still kind of too thick. All you're doing is pulling back. Mm-hmm. So my hands are supporting. Mm-hmm. And you just I won't do anything with one hand. Really ever. You won't see me use one hand for the process. Because if I do, I'm gonna really mess it up and pull it off. I gotta open this about six inches. And then stop. Now I have this cow foot here. Right there, that's my width on the base right there, okay? Okay. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm back here. I'm gonna press that bottom so it doesn't crack. Back smooth it out flat. Gonna get all that clay back. And then right here, okay? So that basically breaks. your bottom is set. Yeah, so that's it. I'm okay. working from the bottom to the top. Now I gotta get this clay up in the height to that height right here. Okay. Alright, so here we go. So now we're going for that. I'm gonna make a pool. I'm gonna thin this out, make a volcano shape first. To make a volcano shape, I can then eat it out to a cylinder like that. Which is really wrong. So here we go. So I'm gonna let that outside. Push my right hand. I'm gonna thin that clay out. I have an air pop in there. I can feel it. You can feel it? Mm-hmm. It's like having a rock in your clay. Air never changes its volume, so therefore it leaves a bump. Now I'm going to make a pool. I've got to scoop into this thick clay at the base, but bring it in and lift it to the top like that, all the way up to my finger. All the way to the top. All right? Mm -hmm. Here we go. I keep repeating it. I get all the way to my ears. Sorry. Oh, that's the worst. Ah, bad timing. See you off? Uh Uh-uh. Oh, sorry. Ear. You got clay in your ear? Uh, no. It's probably dust from last night turning wood. <laughs> <laughs> it started itching. I'm like, oh, not right now. Oh, my goodness. That's the worst. <laughs> Some in your eyes and you start itching. That's so painful. And I got hands dirty and I got to put the clay in my ear. Scoop there. Scooping until I get all that thick down the base. And I need to get at least to that height. Somewhere in that range. So now with this sponge on your right hand, mm-hmm. you're pulling some of the clay out as well? Or, I'm going or uh, you just keep What happens moist? is one piece, yeah, the sponge keeps my hand wet. Okay. And what happens, sometimes some of the pieces as I'm going up, I'm using this finger to push. Okay. What happens if I'm just using my fingertips, it's like trying to use a stylus. Okay. No support. My fingers behind that sponge, that's more surface area. Keeps gotcha. from getting off of the uh, center. So that's why I use that. It keeps it lubricated. And what happens is I'm pulling up sometimes, a little piece of that clay will break off. It rides around like that, and you'll see it fall off or something like that. You know, it just goes to the wayside. It doesn't hurt anything to happen to me. But... Right, here we go. Right there. Now I'm going to scoop in here. I'm going to push out a little bit more of my left hand now to kind of get more pinching. Mm-hmm. Even this wall out now. Right there, now I'll start moving that up. Actually, over shot, that's all right. That's what I need to do. I'd rather have more than not enough, okay? So now we're going to straighten this wall out, all right? So now I need this. I'm still going to push out a little bit more. So you're going to straighten the wall out? Yeah, see, it has a little bumps in it. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go out a little bit wider on that. So I'm going to my left hand now. I'm going to push a little bit wider. 
Because I still want this outside now to be six inches wide. The early was the inside that was six inches. Now I want this six inches on the outside. Okay. All right. So now I'm gonna try to get in that range, hopefully. I was worried that air pocket would throw me off, so I made it a little bit skinnier. So I'm gonna push my left hand. Later on, if I put a decal on it, I need a smooth side. That to work. So with your left hand, all you're doing is just guiding? Uh, the, these two hands got to work together. Out. So what happened, I'm kind of pushing out. So you see right there how that mm -hmm. line is formed? That's like a blade inside. This is a blade on the outside. Okay. That clay's been forced between those two things like that. So that way, you see that wobble that's in it? Mm -hmm. I'm forcing that kind of on center and up. I'm moving the wobble imperfection from the side of that wall to the top. I can always handle the top. Something down here is harder to go back and try to get rid of yeah. later on. Okay. You'll see how I fix this wobble at the top here in a second. Okay. So now I've got to bring this top in. I'm going to make a triangle with my hands, okay? And then I'm going to go here. And this is how I bring the top in. I'm get that top down to about two and a half inches, all right? So all this out here now, I have to bring that back in now. I'm going to make a triangle with my hands like that. So I'm going to circle into a triangle. Mm -hmm. So right here, I'm just going to collar that in, three points of pressure. See that wobble in the top? I've got to take care of that now because it's really bad. If I don't, it's going to affect everything below that. It's not work. Okay, so it's going to really start to affect everything down. Now, now I'll take this here. I'm going to draw a line. Take my finger inside and draw a line. Right there. And that's that wobble to you. Oh. That's all sitting there. You can see how uneven that is on the the other. So I have to remove that to flatten my rim back out. Like that. I'll still make a pull to clean this top out some. And when I bring that in, it thickens up stress in here because I made it go back to where it doesn't want to go. So now I'm going to get that again. Call it a little triangle here. Each time they get that even, I have to cut that. That all stems from that air pocket that went all the way down there. Now, one thing is about two and a half inches. I'm going to go about right there and just stop right there. Okay, let's double check that size. I'm going to knock on the bottom this time, I promise. That's way bigger than it should be. That's way too wide. That's wrong. Oh, I don't want to use that for the other day. I normally leave these with the same measurement. I had to use them for the other day. Go back in right there. That's two, five inches, two and a half. Okay. Why are you taking notes? <laughs> So that's where I want to be right in that range. So that's kind of where I want to be in that range. Okay. okay so I'm still going to bring that in just a little bit. So go there. I'll pull that one more time. Spin it again. And shoot for our side right there. I'm going to power it one more time. All right. There's that. Now I need to have another one. So I'll take a metal rib here that's flexible. Take that right there. Get that. Right, that's going to help it clean the surface. Now we'll come on the 
it's outside here, let's see how it's going to change that surface appearance now. Scrape on the wick, clean off that surface right there. That's called slip. That's my glue layer on it. If I had a hand or a spout, I need that to attach it all right. Okay. I keep that in the container, I put that on when I score it, I scratch it, and I attach it. I have to work it into the clay. This is what's in between so it dries evenly and slowly. Okay. It really stays on without coming off. This one right here, see how the handles are ripped off with that one? That's mm -hmm. what happens if I don't use enough slip on it. That will come off like that. So I have to be very careful to be sure to use that slip at all times to make sure I do it properly and thoroughly. You know? So I'm going to go here, flatten this side out like that, and clean this top also so it's even there and then knit. I'll clean that side right there. Now I'll come here and double check that for sure. Still in my range, which is good. Awesome. So now, what I'm going to do, that there gets a wire at the top. So when it gets this flip top lid on it, there's mm -hmm. that groove right there in the neck. Yeah. That wire has to attach. So now we're going to put